managed to pick the right side of the drainage line. So we've caught up once again with our Angama Pride, and I'm so sorry, <laughs> here's a guide that was trying to chat to me. Here we go. Not particularly enthusiastic about their morning. That looks like a really precarious place to sleep, if that lioness is picked. If she rolls over, she's going to go tumbling down into the drainage line. She won't. But I, don't, I know those of you with pet cats probably have seen your cats do it occasionally, when they roll over and they don't realize how close to the edge of the bed or the couch they are, and they fall off and then look really embarrassed. I've seen leopards do it in trees. That lioness definitely doesn't want to go tumbling down there, though. A sleepy puddle of lions. And I think that that's going to be their plan, which seems like a good one. The weather's turned cold. It's cloudy. It's windy. It was raining earlier. I think that's the, where they're going to camp out for the day. I'm going to see if I can try and get us a slight... Mm, this might be our best possible view, unfortunately. I'm glad we came back just to check on them. Ah, Michael, very good question. So Michael's question is... We often talk about the fact that there are disadvantages to being the youngest member of a pride, so the youngest litter. And you were wondering if there were any advantages to it. Mm, I suppose there's a possibility that their skills actually essentially develop slightly faster just because they are forced into a situation where they have to fight back against cubs that are much, much larger than themselves. I guess that's a possibility. I'm trying to think if there's any other advantages. For the older cubs, of course, the females, because they allosuckle, it means that the older cubs actually get to suckle for longer because once their mothers have stopped lactating, if there's a female with younger cubs, she'll still be lactating and she'll let them feed. The Older cubs are better at fighting for a place at the carcass. Hmm. Is there, are there any advantages? Can anyone else think of any advantages to being the youngest member of the pride? I suppose there's more eyes to keep an eye out for danger. You know what there might be? Is the fact that the older cubs are more experienced. So when the lioness is, that's very cool. <laughs> tail mingling with the overhanging grass. I suppose when the lionesses leave the cubs, when it's just one set of cubs and it's their sort of first experience of that, they might be less aware of the dangers, particularly when they're little. And then if it's a younger set of cubs with an older set of cubs, the older cubs might have a bit more common sense and a bit more awareness of what's going on around them. So they're less likely to get into trouble. And of course, because they're instinctive and social creatures. If the older cubs run away, the younger cubs will follow. So there's one, I would say. They're less likely to be, perhaps, I don't know what the statistics would say to back that up, but perhaps less likely to get themselves into trouble when they're on their own. Then again, older cubs tend to be more curious and could lead the younger ones astray. Everybody's having a serious snooze. Brr. Weather's definitely taken a turn for the gloomy. It's been so much fun this morning just trundling around, reacquainting myself with the area.